How to add or remove www in WordPress. Hey guys, welcome to Pixel Reflect. In this video, I will show you how to add or remove the www prefix using two different methods. In the first method, we will use cPanel's redirects, and in the second one, we will be editing the htaccess file. First, check your DNS configuration to ensure both domains point to your server IP. This is very simple. You can use an online tool like DNS Checker to perform a DNS lookup on your domain. In most cases, the right DNS records will be created automatically when you register your domain. You should see that both domains point to your server IP address. If this is the case, you can skip the next step. If not, then you need to add any missing records. Otherwise, your website will not work after the redirection. You only need two DNS records for this to work. The first record is in a record that points your main domain to your server IP address. The second one is a CNAME that maps your www subdomain to your main domain. I am using OVH Cloud to manage my domain's DNS records, but if you are using a different company like Godaddy or Namecheap, they will look similar to this. You can choose not to do this step. However, after the redirection, your website will be stuck in a redirect loop, and the only fix will be to change your website URLs from the database. So if you are not comfortable with editing the database directly, you need to change the URLs from the settings before moving to the next step. To do this, simply go to Settings. General. and either add or remove www from these two options. After saving, you will be logged out of WordPress. This is normal. Go to cPanel and open the redirects page. Under the type, choose Permanent 301. Select your domain from the drop-down menu below. Under the redirects to option, type your target domain. Make sure not to add a forwarding slash at the end. Choose the do not redirect www option if you want to add www to your URLs. Otherwise, choose the last option only redirect with www. If you didn't follow the previous step to change your website URLs from the settings, then most likely you will have a redirect loop issue like this. To fix it, you need to update your site URL and home URL from the options table in the database. To do this, open phpMyAdmin from cPanel or any database manager you have access to. Open the options table and update the site URL and home fields by either adding or removing www from the URL. This will fix the infinite redirect loop issue. As you can see, my domain has changed. If you don't have access to cPanel, we can edit the htaccess file to achieve the same result. First, open the htaccess file using your preferred code editor. It will be in the root folder of your WordPress installation. If you are unable to locate the file, make sure to enable the Show Hidden Files option.
Now copy paste this code at the start of the file. I will leave a link to my guide in the description. Don't forget to change example.com with your actual domain. After you save the changes, your website URL will change. If you have a redirect loop issue, please check the previous step on how to update your site URLs from the database. If you are using Nginx instead of Apache, please check my guide which contains the code that you need to add to your server block. Link in the description. Now that you have changed your domain, if you have some URLs that were manually placed in your content, then you need to change these too. The easiest way to do this in my experience is to use a plugin like Better Search and Replace. While using this plugin is beyond the scope of this tutorial, the plugin is fairly simple to use. You just need to search for your old domain and replace it with the new one. Please back up your database first just in case, as any change to the database is not reversible. That's it for today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.